And welcome back. Well, any senior citizen will tell you that one of their biggest fears is falling. And there are great ways that you can make your home safer to prevent it. Joining us now is Sean Flanick with Walk-In Tubs of Wisconsin with a focus on the bathroom um, today, which I think is fantastic. Nice to have you here, Sean. Thanks for having um, me. Why do you find that most people purchase a walk-in tub? Because I think we, we, we tend to think as people age that they need special accommodations. Yeah, it's basically they've gotten to a point where they can no longer get in and out of their current bathtub situation. Situation. There's a high wall to get over. It's a slippery area. It's not safe anymore. And they really, once they're in a tub sitting on the floor, they can't get themselves back up to, to a standing position because it's so low. So they're really looking for a tub that has a seat inside, a grab bar inside where they can comfortably sit safely and take a nice, comfortable bath. Mm -hmm. I can imagine a lot of people don't think about doing it until they have a close call or they do fall sometimes. It's not always, you know, it's like one of those things, oh, I need to do that now. So how long does it take to install a, a walk-in tub? A walk-in tub generally only takes one day, one full day That's in their fantastic. home. Yeah, we'll get there in the morning and by around dinner time we're able to wrap up the project. Mm -hmm. a, a lot of people probably wonder how much space they're going to need to, to have you kind of make it over. Does it require a lot more space than say the average tub? No, it actually fits in the footprint of their average tub so it doesn't take up too much space. It doesn't, you know, a lot of bathrooms are smaller and they're worried this is going to take up my whole bathroom and it's actually, they're designed to fit in that current footprint and they're actually designed a little smaller even so they fit much there you go. There's an example right there. Yep. Mm -hmm. That looks really good. Did you actually retrofit a, a tub that was already there? Yep, that one right there is a modification of a current tub. Um, that's something that we can do to help people get in and out more safely if they're not interested in a full walk-in bathtub. That's amazing. And so you guys do, if you don't want a, a walk-in tub, it looks like you do other things like this as well. That's a walk-in shower, correct? Yeah, there's some people out there, for whatever reason, they don't like bathtubs. They prefer showers. And if they have trouble getting in and out of their current bathtub, a walk-in shower like that, that again is a modification of a current tub. So something like that as an option that people can go to. For that walk-in shower, how does the water not come onto the floor? There's still enough of a lip on the shower. It's about a four inch, five inch lip okay. and there, the drain is pitched so that the water is going to run towards the drain instead of towards the floor. Okay, or you can put a door up yep, still. You can still put doors up. You can also use a shower curtain. You're just going to have a longer shower curtain. It's still going to reach to the bottom so you're not going to have any water on the floor. Oh, that's nice. Mm -hmm. So you can do a walk-in tub. You can do a, a tub to shower conversion. So you can actually convert your tub to a shower, correct? Um, or you can do an insert in a current tub. So really, there there isn't any situation where people couldn't do something to better accommodate their needs. Exactly. There, I can help someone in almost every situation find something that'll be easier and you know safer for them to use in their current situation. What was that last chair we were looking that at? That was there? actually a stair lift. We, we do stair lifts as well so if you're having trouble climbing the stairs you know I have a lot of people tell me no I don't need a walk-in tub I have a walk-in shower in the basement oh. but they have trouble getting oh. up and down the stairs right. so you know mm -hmm. if that's all they want to say you can still find something again something to help you stay safer in your current situation. And we saw some really colorful bars are those those are grab bars for a shower or yeah, grab tub? bars um, grab bars don't have to be stainless steel industrial looking you can match them to the rest of the decor in the bathroom um, there's a lot of fancy ones that can double as a, a towel rack or a toilet paper dispenser as well so there's a lot of interesting things out there as well they're let's probably talk, easier to see too when they're yeah. a brighter this is color, true this is true yep. mm -hmm. let's talk cost a little bit how much does someone need to spend to have those um, accommodations made depending on what they want done in the bathroom and what the current footprint of the bathroom is what we'd have to do we can help them for as little as 1500 and prices can go up from there depending on what they want to do. So you can really work with any budget. Pretty much any budget. Any solu a solution for every budget is what I like to say. So. Yeah. And if you visit, you can do a consultation. You can look at a tub or shower and, and talk someone through how much it will cost, mm -hmm. what you'll need to do in order to change it the way that they want. What I like to do is come out and sit with the people and really get to know them a little bit. What are their limitations? What, you know, what hurts them? What ails them? Why aren't they able to use their current situation? And then go through some of the options available to them and really let them decide what fits their budget rather than me saying, hey, you really need this one product. I let them kind of show me what their budget is and what they need, and then we to get together decide what works best for them. Mm -hmm. Well, and I think that you're successful at what you do because of the way you listen to people. Yeah. It makes a big difference, yeah. yeah There's a lot sure. of our companies that are out there, they have one product, and they're really trying to force that product on each customer, and I'm kind of taking it the other way where I'm sitting with the customer to see what they need and then help them find the product that fits that need. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it's free for you to do that consultation? Free consultation, yeah. I'll come out, no obligation. You it'll know. be you? It'll be me, me personally. Really? Yeah. Yep, yep, oh, so they can me. just call you yep. and say, hey, Sean. I saw you in the morning. On come on out this yeah, afternoon. Exactly. So you need to be here by 10, 15. I have someone at 1 o'clock, actually, that I'm going to see. So, yeah, yeah, it's that quick, yeah. Are they watching you today? I hope so. Okay. Hi, <laughs>
<laughs> okay, so right now you have a great offer because people can call for a free no obligation consultation. And during the month of June, walk-in tubs of Wisconsin will include a lift chair with the purchase of any walk-in tub. So oh, you get a nice. lift chair. Those are nice. Those are really nice. You can buy a tub, get a chair. There's no better time. If you've been in the market looking around, the time is now to go ahead and get that walk-in tub. So yeah. once you're seated, the chair actually the lifts chair will you lift you out. Up. Yeah. That's Helps fantastic. Yeah. All right, again, that uh, consultation is free. There's no obligation. Be sure to mention the morning blend because you can receive that lift chair with the purchase of a walk-in tub. So the way to get a hold of them is by calling 262-443-3950 or go to walkintubsofwisconsin.com. And make Sean some cookies. No. Yeah, <laughs> he does this. Chocolate chip. Chocolate chip. Chocolate chip, he said. I'll get it done. Good to have you on the show. Thanks, Thanks again.